Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragalia Foundry, a fan channel where everything Dragalia Lost can be found. This video is going to contain my summoning session for Gala Gatov and Dragon Yul Nevin. I ultimately decided after seeing the reveal of Ilya's kit that Gatov and Nevin's showcase just seems like a better value. I feel like he provides more utility overall among Flame Element Adventurers with the dispel that he has available in his kit, and ultimately I think that co-ability of his is also pretty special. It's shared with Krom, but I think Gatov's uh, is a better adventurer overall. So I'm going to summon today. I don't have that many resources to be able to summon. I must admit I am holding out some hope that we're able to get a little bit lucky here and manage to pull Gatov and Nevin relatively quickly so that from there we still have some resources for Ilya or who knows, maybe for New Year's. If we don't get lucky, then we're probably going to be drifting toward whaling territory if we want to make it out of limited season. So that is kind of where I'm at on these showcases. After seeing Ilya's preview, I think it's good. The AoE on her skill seems potentially helpful for Yaldabea. The defense amp, getting a whole team amp is pretty nice, but uh, it just didn't stand out all that much to me aside from that. No dispel, no other types of effects or afflictions, so that's where I ultimately landed. Let's go ahead and get into things here. I've summoned 10 times so far, or I should say I have 10 worm sigils. I've just done daily deals plus two singles. One of those broke my pity rate. It was a Nimus. So one of them uh, was just uh, a wasted single. I wanted to get up to 10 sigils, but ultimately decided to continue pulling. So let's try and increase our pity rate here. We'll do nine single summons and uh, see if we can increase our pity rate. And eventually we'll start getting into our wormite. Hopefully we don't have to get into our room right, of course, but uh, our resources are pretty low here. All right, we are getting a five star in these single summons. That's always good. It's just one of them. So maybe, and we didn't even get to, hey! Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry to keep me waiting. I, I just showed up to this video. Okay, well I was, I was just gonna say when it's these single summons, you can't see the weapon type or you know, whether it's a dragon or adventure, drop from the screen, because I only did nine summons. So, uh, yeah, I guess otherwise we would have known that was an axe, but uh, we're off to a very good start, y'all. We're off to a very good start. Does this change things for me? Oh, it's so tough. We know Dragon Yul Nevin is going to be summonable in the next showcase, but we don't know if he's Worm Sigil eligible. And that's really one of the unfortunate things about the banner previews. I wish we knew if he was going to be Worm Sigil eligible, Sparkable. If so, it probably would make more sense at this point for me to summon on that showcase rather than this one. Whew, now it's a tough call. Well, that went much better than expected. I almost want to hedge and do like Maybe get one more five star in this showcase and then the remaining summons will put toward the future showcase now that we got Gatov like immediately. Let's try do that. Let's do three more singles, increase our pity rate, and then summon until we get another five star and then call it a day. Uh, I thought we were going to go all in here, prepared to buy some, uh, some expensive shop packs if that's what it took. We may be waiting on those until next showcase. As it turns out, this was unexpected. All right, Serena Fubuki. And uh, now, now our appearance rate is up to six and a half percent. I'm content with that. The streak, well, the wolf. am I content with that? Let's let's do our, our single increase pity rate, try to get up to 7% before we uh, go for tenfold vouchers. And then we'll see what happens. Dove there, we got Poliahu. Yeah, I, I'm sure Ilya is gonna be, you know, probably a great damage dealer. Maybe they even fix it so that she works fine under Curse of Nihility conditions, unlike her original variant. But I don't know. It's a it's a tough one for me. As a character, I feel like I like her a similar amount to how much I like Nevin. And then Gatov 
for me, he's not a huge standout or reason to summon, just character-wise. He's not any he's not a character I've ever really latched onto in any major way. He's a character I like. I think that he has a nice relationship with Aurelius, but um, he just hasn't stood out a lot. He has the backstory with Sheila, but other than that, I just don't feel like I have a lot of uh, connection to him. Maybe that will change after reading his adventure story, now that he has this Gala variant. I think we have a couple more to do here. And more dragons, more drakes. Okay, one more. So I guess it was worth it to increase our pity rate like this. And now we'll use a tenfold voucher and uh, we'll see what happens. Very likely to get five star here. And I guess we'll call it a day probably. Although you never know, maybe our luck will turn on us. But uh, it hasn't. We're at least getting a five star of some variety. And it's a dagger. Unreal. Unreal. If it's Nevin, y'all. Well, it looks like this is gonna be a good Dragon Yule after all. Okay, Nevin, Ramiel, looking smug in the background there. Okay. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this summoning session, everybody. I hope it's gone well for you, too. I'm gonna post a review on Dragon Yule Ilya tomorrow or the next day. I want to see what she's like when she's out in the wild, especially because today I had to make a choice. Do I do my Ilya review? Do I do my summoning? It's the last day to do summoning. So I decided to go for that and just talk about Ilya and my initial thoughts on her in the summoning session. But this was absolutely unreal. I feel vindicated, but probably the ends don't justify the means in a case like this. This was a strategically fraught path, starting a summoning session, with less than the resources needed to spark, and yet we were rewarded by getting both of the characters we want, and now we can defer the decision. We don't have to make a decision about, you know, do we try Spark Nevin on the next showcase? Try Summon him on this showcase? Absolutely incredible. Super, super lucky. Well, I hope your luck was as good as mine, and if not, I hope your luck picks up for Ilya's showcase and toward the new year. That is going to do it for today, everyone. So thank you as always for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.